Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a get ready with me. I'm gonna be talking about Queen and Cardi B. They're trending on the shade room. They're like the hottest topic going on right now as far as their situations. And then you also have Cardi B and Offset and their whole situation. And then Clarence and Queen and their situation. I'm drinking some lemon water and if you're doing keto, then you know how important lemon water is. So you're gonna see me sip that throughout this video. So let's go ahead and get into it. This video is brought to you by Ali Pearl. They sent me some curly hair. I believe this is Brazilian deep curl or deep wave. I'll make sure to put it down below in the description box. The longest length they sent me was a 26. So they sent me 26, 24, and 22. And then they also sent me a 20 inch closure. I had to bleach the knots. So the knots did not come bleached. And I made this wig, but I also plucked. Sometimes I like to leave my edges out and then sometimes I don't. Queen Naja. And I wanna talk about her because I feel like her situation is something that we can all learn from. And what I mean by all, I'm talking about us women. I'm just trying to get my hair situated. Make sure you get it in the lace too. So we're gonna do a natural beat or whatever. I had to take an intermission so I'm back. <laughs> I can't talk today and I feel like this get ready with me is gonna be all over the place. Anywho, and then also y'all, let's also talk about this. Yes, I'm gonna get into Queen and yes, I'm gonna get into all of them. But can we just talk about how I'm not trying to drink right now and I keep getting hit up? Like, I just don't understand. I'm trying not to be rude or whatever, but I really don't wanna talk to nobody, okay? I should have never put that thing on my Instagram where I was joking, joking about if anybody has feelings for me, speak up or forever hold your peace because I'll probably be married or some shit. I said some dumb shit like that. And every time I said that shit, I regret it, okay? I don't wanna talk to nobody right now. Like, how many times I got like, do I have to wear a shirt enjoying my singleness season? The reason why I don't want to talk to nobody is because I don't need nobody getting all up in my head and playing with my feelings. I just don't want to deal with that right now. I got a lot of good things going on right now and like it's like a mojo and I don't want nobody like coming along and ruining that shit. You know what I mean? Giving me mood swings and stuff. I'm an Aries. We have enough mood swings. I just, I don't have time. And then it's like, some people are just not getting the clue. You know, like, you throw hints like you're not interested and they just, I don't know how to, I, I, didn't, I don't know what else I could say. I flat out said I'm not trying to date and I'm still getting hit up. And do they think it's a friend? It's not a friend. This is not a friend. This is real life. This is real life shit, okay? Like I said, I just don't want nobody messing up my mental space headspace right now so my guard is up right now and i just don't feel like letting it down right now for the time okay right now six months from now you know i ain't even gonna say that a year from now maybe but uh right now i just don't need no distractions <laughs> that's all men have been for me lately so <laughs> They haven't been like real supportive or um, they haven't really invested much time into me or anything. So I just feel like if you're not on that wave, you're wasting my time. And I'm wasting your time too, cause I'm just not interested. And I hate how I have to come across like this bitch, but uh, it's just the truth. So let's talk about this queen situation, okay? Everyone on social media, on YouTube, 
are making like these alleged comments allegedly I'll say that that Clarence is controlling Queen now I haven't been watching Queen's YouTube video because our YouTube channel I haven't been watching her YouTube stuff because you know I'm not a fan you know so I just feel like she she just be doing so much like I have nothing against her but um she just be doing too much she like overshares and I really don't like people who overshare if that makes sense I believe that sometimes privacy is needed and you don't have to share every 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 little detail of your life and when it comes to like like she be tweeting about sexual stuff her and Clarence be doing and stuff and it's like now you know damn well you got these 13 year olds some even younger than that following you and she over here tweets stuff like I just don't like girls like that any girl that talks about sexual things that they do publicly on social media that includes Facebook I have probably unfriended you or whatever the case may be I just don't like girls like that you what attention are you looking for when you do stuff like that and then for her to be in a relationship what attention are you looking for by sharing you know what I'm saying so that's just me but I don't follow her like that because I'm not I'm not a fan so but recently I tuned in because everyone was talking about how Clarence is controlling her and they were making all these like conspiracy theory videos on YouTube so I was like you know what I'm not gonna allow all these strangers to influence me I'm like let me go ahead and check out her her YouTube channel because I used to watch her YouTube channel and then I just I couldn't do it no more like when she was going through that whole breakup thing you know I was really feeling for her and I was growing she was growing on me and I was kind of starting to like her and then when she got with Clarence it was kind of like I don't really like you no more you see that girlfriend and she get with that one guy and it's like he has changed you so much you're not even the same person like do you even know who you are anymore anyway so I was like, let me go check out, you know, her channel or whatever like that. She has definitely changed. And I'm not, I, I can't really say in a good way. Just because I feel like she's not who, she's not herself. Um, one of the biggest things that I noticed, and I watched a few of her videos. I don't know if it's because she's pregnant or what, but like, Queen had like this goofiness personality. She reminded me of myself in a sense because she was goofy, she was playful. She was like a big kid, you know, she was very childlike and I think that's why she was able to connect with the young younger generation, not only just because of her relationship but because of her personality. And her personality has definitely changed. Like she is not the same queen. And uh, it's kind of sad to see someone a woman like that who has like everything going for themselves literally has the world at her feet and she linked up with this guy who isn't shit and it's just changing her she doesn't seem happy you know like that honeymoon phase of their relationship has definitely ended and they just look like I don't know they just look uncomfortable and then it's like when they try to force their happiness when people try to force their happiness to me I can always tell because it comes across very cringy it's like oh my god like if you get on my nerves you get on my nerves I can't fake it like if you irritate me you irritate me I can't fake it and I'm not about to sit here and pretend like and you not getting on my nerves and just because someone is getting on your nerves don't mean you don't love them or that you're not in love with them they just getting on your damn nerves shit and I'm not about to sit here and pretend like you're not irritating my soul like I love you to death but we don't have to force that we're happy if we getting into it people argue all the time if you're not arguing in your relationship are you really in a relationship if you're not arguing in a marriage are you really in a marriage like that's part of relationships arguing not getting along like disconnecting from each other is where things start to get really scary because when you disconnect from that person that you're in a relationship with or you're married to that means like you guys are no longer compatible which is scary because that could lead to a breakup or a divorce but arguing girl if you're not arguing it's kind of like are you in a relationship so I get why they made that video but just Clarence comes across like a dictator 
like he always it seems like he tells her what to do and it's just the way he carries himself and he didn't used to act like that but it's like ever since he impregnated her she has just been like he has just been doing the most to me and it's like okay you knocked her up but you didn't marry her you know what i mean like you don't run her like that like he really think he run her now and it's crazy and you know this all could have been prevented if Queen, and I said this in my previous video, if she would have just took the time out for herself, which every woman needs to do, which we could all learn from her situation, she should have taken the time out to herself, made sure she was good, made sure her son was good, and just really focused on herself and tried to find herself. And so she got married young, she had a baby young, she did all of that young. Okay, things happen, but to repeat the same problematic <laughs> behavior is crazy. Like she carried her baggage from one relationship to the next and now she done got herself in a, in a horrible situation. I wouldn't wish her situation, and not her career, her personal life. Because at the end of the day, you can come online, you can fake being happy, but when you log out and when you really have to sit there by yourself, are you really happy? Because that's what really matters. I mean, you can chase this fame stuff, but like I said, this fame stuff can lead to depression. It can lead to a whole lot of heartbreak and misery. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening to her and it's really sad to watch. In her situation, I just hate how and I've seen this time and time again, how men manipulate women into thinking that they're the problem or something's wrong with them. And I felt like Clarence, he basically took advantage of a girl that was insecure. She didn't know her worth and he took advantage. And I see this all the time. I see this happen to friends. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like you are worth so much more than this, but you're giving this guy who isn't shit a chance. And it's kind of like, why? Why? When you could do so much better. Like why? I just don't understand and when I look at Queen that's exactly what I see. Self love y'all, y'all need to discover that before you discover any man who claiming he love you and all that. Like all that sounds good and everything but she is like dependent on this man to make her feel something and that is really sad. Like you should be dependent on yourself to feel alive, to feel like a woman. You shouldn't depend on him or anyone for that matter. It should just all be dependent on you. And I just don't like how he manipulates her. And if you look back at her old tweets versus her tweets now, she's more cocky and you can tell that's him, that's not her. Queen has always been a more humble person and I just felt like ever since she got with him, she's just more cocky. She's just really not herself. And I'm just going based off of old videos. And I know people change and they elevate and stuff like that. But she's like, she's not changing for the better. She's changing for the worse. It, it just, she comes across not happy. And it's just really, really sad to watch. The same thing with Cardi B. Cardi B and they have very, her and Queen have very similar situations. For example, Queen and Cardi, they're, they didn't know their worth prior to getting into the relationships that they're in right now. And then they also made the mistake of getting pregnant. And it's like, why not slow down a little bit and see what this guy is really about? Like, why rush to have his kids? Because let me tell you something. These men will tell you any and everything that you want to hear. And they can put on this facade like they're this nice guy. And then when real life stuff starts to happen, they start to show their true colors. And I feel like that's exactly what happened. They start feeling themselves a little bit. That's what happened with Clarence. He started feeling himself a little bit and now he doesn't even treat her the same. He don't even look at her the same. And it's crazy how quickly men change when they feel like they got you. You know, where they get comfortable. A man in a relationship should never get comfortable just because he got you. So now he feel like he don't gotta do nothing. And that's the vibe that I get from both of these men. Offset, Clarence, and then honestly, my whole thing with Queen and Clarence, I think Queen really liked Clarence more than he liked her. And I think the only reason why he maybe felt for her in the beginning, in the beginning, and I only say that maybe in the beginning, is because she showed him how to make money on YouTube. And so he was loving her for that. 
But now that, you know, they're living together, when you live with somebody, it is completely different. And then also they don't have the normal relationship where they don't work together. Like they work together. YouTube is a job. You got to edit. You got to do all of that. You got to plan out your day, especially when you're vloggers. You have to plan out your day and make sure you have content to post. So, and of course, when you do a YouTube channel, a couple YouTube channel, y'all have to be together, you know? And that's part of like vlogging. Like you're always together. They don't have that time apart. So for someone like Queen who didn't know her worth prior to getting into this relationship, she really doesn't know who she is. Like she doesn't know who she is. And it's very scary to see play out. Queen is a Christian and Clarence doesn't believe in God. Like he doesn't want to raise his child to be religious at all. And Queen does. And that's a conversation you would normally have with someone that you're trying to be serious with. And this is a conversation that they did not have prior. And so now they're in a situation where they're not coming to an agreement about this whole religious thing. And for me, being a Christian and believing in God, that is a deal breaker for me. People just act on things. They just act on things, but they don't think things through, you know? And a religious thing that's huge, because like I said, it can it can make a child very confused, very lost, very fast, very quick. This is something that you would learn about someone in the talking stage. But like I said, they rushed into this whole situation. And now Queen is sitting here looking stupid, which many of us women, we have gone through that looking stupid, you know? And uh, I've gone through that. So I can't even look at her and like point the finger and laugh like, huh, oh, that's what you get. Girl, we've all been there. Now, to what extent, I didn't get pregnant. I didn't have nobody's baby. And that's why I feel like it's so important that you follow the blueprint, which I talked about in my singleness and abstinent video. Following the blueprint will make a lot of these issues that these girls are going through nowadays, like it would not exist. These issues would not come up. But because they're not following the blueprint, they find themselves in situations like this. These are things you gotta ask yourself when you be out here sleeping around and not protecting yourself. As a woman, you have to be smart and you have to understand that you can decide how you want your life to be. A man doesn't decide it for you. You get to decide how you want your life to be. Whether you believe in abortion or not, or whether you protect yourself and try to prevent even being put in a position like myself to have an abortion because you got yourself in a situation and now you're like, oh, this is not what I wanted. I feel like Queen has her own money, but it's different when a man is manipulating you. Like, basically, he's controlling her by manipulating her. Not necessarily telling her what to do. I feel like he is telling her what to do, but I feel like Cardi's in a better situation because at least she doesn't allow from what I from what I can see, he doesn't she doesn't allow offset to manipulate her. And I wouldn't be surprised if Cardi allows offset to cheat. I wouldn't be surprised. But see, that's completely different than he manipulating her into believing that he's not cheating on her when he is versus her being in on the fact that he's cheating. There's a huge difference. So I think this whole Cardi B situation is just a publicity stunt and he's trying to sell his album, he's trying to go solo and it just makes sense. And I think Cardi is in on the fact that he cheats. And this is just my opinion. Don't let these people out here who are trying to sell records <laughs> fool you into believing some BS. And that's why I'm not really talking about Cardi as much because I just feel like it's, the whole situation is fake. I don't feel like it's real at all. I feel like she knows that uh, Offset be out here cheating on her. And I think after he got caught the first few times, she was just like, you know what, fuck it. Just do it, but do it. Try to do it under the radar. Kind of like uh, Tiny. I think Tiny knows that T.I. be cheating on her all the time and I think she's okay with it as long as it's not being done publicly. And see, the reason why they've been having issues recently is because 
T.I. is being caught publicly and I think the agreement that they had was, okay, you can cheat, but don't do it publicly. And that's how I feel about Cardi. So, but this Queen situation, Clarence is running everything. He running the money that she get, everything. And it's like, how can this man run you like this and he not even your husband? That's what's so crazy to me. Y'all not married and he running you like that? Cardi, I feel like she doesn't know her worth either just because it's like, Offset is trash to me. Like he is so trash. Like why out of all the men you could have settled down with? Cause Cardi could have had anybody if you ask me. She was popping, she's young. She seems like a, like a lot of fun. And I just feel like she could have been with anybody, but she decided to be with Offset. So important that you know your worth before you get into these relationships with these men. Because they'll have you second guessing yourself. They'll have you thinking you ugly. They'll have you thinking some crazy things about yourself just because of how they treat you. Gonna leave me, baby, I plead. Sever this love that is making.